Hello everyone, Richard Lewis here with uh, another video, and Sam's here too, all the gang's here, we're all here, all the boys are here. Yay, he's just <laughs> having a look. How you doing mate, you're flying home soon aren't you? Yep, uh, two more days, till I get to feel what cold is again. Yeah, it's pretty warm out here in Atlanta, who knew? <laughs> who fucking saw that coming right? Beefsville, miss. A big guy like yourself as well must be tough. Yeah, exactly, just the constant state of clam. <laughs> the constant state of clam uh, so today's video is going to be about a topic that's very dear to mine and Sam's heart and a lot of people ask me questions about it uh, and it's about the UK scene uh, when it comes to Counter-Strike I mean just the UK esports scene in general and I get asked a lot you know will the UK ever produce a, a team again that can compete at the highest level will we ever see good UK organisations again uh, do you, uh, people even ask me, is it worth investing in the UK scene? Now, what I want to put to, together in this video is just a fucking group of examples as to why it's just n the answer to all of those things is no, and will always yeah. will be no. <laughs> Massive, <laughs> nah, <laughs> right? And you know, there's uh, there's loads of film references, but you know, in Aliens, when they say like. Uh, they're talking about what the best thing to do is, and obviously, like the corporate guy wants to like get a sample of the xenomorph and turn it into a weapon. Yeah. And Ripley and eventually Hicks, I believe, rest in peace, uh, say we're gonna the best thing to do is take off and nuke it from space. It's the only way to be sure. That's what we need to do to the UK scene. <laughs> Just nuke it from fucking space. Because it can't be saved. There's no, no redeemable qualities whatsoever. The best people in the UK scene, they mean well, but they're incompetent. You know, kind of like a grandmother that has the grandkids around, cooks for them, but accidentally poisons them all to death. Because <laughs> she got baking soda. They always use flour like back in my day. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Toughens you up. And, you know, that, that she meant well. She just wanted to cook a lovely dinner, but she fucking killed everyone. And this is what you'll find increasingly in esports, that the well-meaning idiots do as much damage as the malicious scumbags. They, they can't help it. And unfortunately, I, 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 look, I know a lot of these guys, and they won't like this, but they're well-meaning idiots. And they come in and they throw money around and they talk a good game about building stuff, but they don't have the competence, they don't have the connections, they don't have the vision, they don't have the self-discipline, and they build terrible organizations that pick up terrible teams and they go to terrible events and they perform terribly. That's pretty much the UK scene in a nutshell. Now, we're going to start with some examples of some players. Uh, when I used to, uh, was heavily involved in Counter-Strike Source, uh, there was uh, we, um, about was back in a, where we did produce good teams. Obviously, we had Birmingham Salva. Um, you know, there was Power Gaming. Uh, there, there was a, there was a few very good organisations that could compete internationally. You know, obviously before that, way back in my day, we had Zeb Board, Four Kings. You know, this kind of stuff. So, uh, basically, they used to be so convinced everyone else in the world was cheating. Every UK pro I ever talked to, so convinced everyone else was having a toggle. Like just it, literally, they every time they got pre-fired, every time they lost a game, and they'd just be like, "Yo, he's cheating, isn't he? He's cheating. <laughs> it's the only way he could possibly beat me is by cheating." And you know, you'd you'd sit them down and you'd be like, "Yeah, but what if he isn't though? What if he was just better? Like not better long term, but just better." In that one game, you know, like just better in a short period of time, you know? He just had his fucking Weetabix that morning or whatever. No, cheating. Got to be cheating. He beat me. And this was like the UK mindset for fucking years. Then you coupled that with this very strange self-confidence and self-belief that they themselves were the best players in the world, the definitive authority on how the game was played. But... Practicing for fucking benders, mate. <laughs> Only a virgin would practice. So they wanted to 
look super cool, I, I believe the kids say, and, or, and and therefore not practice because practice is for virgins and benders and whatever else. But they also wanted to win every game and had an expectation they would. So just think about that. Think about the cognitive dissonance. Think about all the contradictory thoughts that have to be going through your head. Everyone's cheating, but we can beat them anyway, but we're too cool to practice, but it also matters when we lose. What the fuck? Insane. So I also did notice that after a while, this led to very loose and lax morals among the UK players that we had loads of examples of people who blatantly had a toggle and they would always justify it in their minds, right? Well, everyone else is doing it. That cunt who just pre-fired me from Estonia, he's cheating because he's from Estonia. I mean, that was the other thing they used to do, right? In certain countries, I oh, just definitely a cheater. Eastern Europe, cheating. Germany, cheating. It's like how, you know, racists like they 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 take one half of the map and it's just pakistan <laughs> you, know, you know everyone everyone <laughs> yeah that's just it like yeah whatever you know and that's what the that's what these uk players used to do for cheats if you were from a certain country you know, just cheat just cheat. Oh, polish is he cheating french definitely cheating yeah and ridiculous attitude but anyway because of this because they believed everyone was cheating they would just toggle they would just do it, and they'd be like, well, it's okay if I do it, because everyone else is doing it. And I saw so many examples of this, and it used to be the same bullshit, you know. Every time they got caught, they'd just be like, yeah, well, first time I've ever cheated, mate. So everyone else is doing it anyway, and it was like, wow. like, And it, and it seemed to just only really exist in the UK to that degree. And I thought we kind of got rid of it, like with the death of the scene, with the death of the competitive scene, with all the old pros moving on. Doing whatever they do now, you know, pushing trolleys around fucking supermarket car parks or, or, um, I don't know, fucking crying More like alone that. in a dark room, streaming to 40 people, desperately hoping they get a knife out of a box so they can give it away and stream to 100 people one day. You know, this is the tragedy of what UKCS has become. They've all fucked off. And I thought with that, right, we would, we would, at least the death of the scene would see the death of that type of stupidity. Well, it didn't, mate. Definitely. Because we, we saw some fucker, um, you know, get caught out recently. And I'm talking about, and he's, he's a young lad. So I will put the caveat. We're all young. We all make mistakes. You know, if that wasn't true, you would never have been born, Sam. Hey, hey. Uh, from the planet Crankor. <laughs> right? No so obviously yeah, no one <laughs> no, yeah. No one watched our shows. <laughs> That's watching now. That used to watch back when Ambassador Phantom was a thing. Anyway, fuck him. Uh but yeah, he's a young lad. So you know, do take it easy on this guy. Because he's a kid. And the sad thing about being a kid these days is it's all on the fucking internet forever, mate. Uh, that breaks my heart, you know, because I, I I did some pretty fucking retarded shit when I was young. I don't know about you. Of course. Yeah. That's I mean, you're still doing it. Shit now, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're still doing it. <laughs> but uh, obviously, when I was young, there was no fucking, there was no internet, <laughs> so I did, at all. So I didn't have to really worry about that. You know, for example, uh, did you ever used to go to school discos? <laughs> yeah. Were, were, they, were they called that? Yeah. Yeah, DJ still and we've had this conversation. Right, huh? right, good, good. Well, you know, when I was young, uh, younger, uh, you know, we, we, one of the things we used to do was we, I don't know why we used to do this, but we get drunk to, and go to a school disco. How old but I mean, like, you with, how old is this? Pretty young, if I'm honest with you, mate. About 14. Ah, that's. I thought, 13, when 40? you say disco, I think like primary school. I thought you were straight 10 years old, showing up wrecked out your mind. No, no, no. I mean, like, this was like the interim thing. Like, the teens, we used to go like once a week or some shit. It was just basically, oh, right, the only reason you were going there was to fucking get off with girls. Oh, right? yeah, was, yeah. We had that. It's like the yeah. kids' nightclub shit. It was kids called like, nightclub NV shit. Envy or something. That's what, that's, that's what he used to say on the sign. Yeah. Kids' nightclub shit. 
So on. We, yeah, so on. So what we used to do there is we'd drink, but like it was just it was just a fucking train wreck every time. Like literally there'd always be one of us that just got so fucking unbelievably mortal drunk, right? Like just crawling on you. But how the fuck what are the teachers doing letting you in? Like it, it must smell it on you. Like <laughs> So I remember one night, man, I got oh it was fucking unreal. I got a half bottle of vodka. Now a half bottle of vodka was like t- that. What you'd, we'd do is we'd have a beer, g- get get our tash on, you know, and then we fucking hide it in a bush. And bushes were reliable yeah, back then, you know. And then we'd fucking go in, you know, pair up, do our <laughs> thing, have a bit of a dance. I believe rave was the music at the time. <laughs> Pretty good, you know. Alternate, Fuck. prodigy, yeah. Uh, in a 14 year old school day. smack my bitch <laughs> what the fuck disc was this used to play it yeah for real no, but no, it was before Fat of the Land this is back when it was like the experience you know oh, okay. anyway fuck that right so we um and then we'd, we'd leave the disco and you know sometimes have some company with us and then we'd go get go to our favourite bush and we'd fucking you know drink the rest of the vodka that was the plan <laughs> But this this one night, right, I, I just got dared to, like, just down this half bottle of vodka. Sound. <laughs> Not sound. <laughs> Good idea Couldn't, when you uh, Right, so, like, I fucking tanned this bottle, right? And the thing is, as well, like, because, you know, you, you don't really know how it all works, like, physiologically and shit. So I was, like, I fucking just went to the fucking disco, you know, like, fucking, yeah, I'm sound, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just hit me, like, a ton of fucking bricks. It was, like, just boom. Like just an uppercut of fucking boots to the brain. Like, <laughs> it's absolutely fucked. Like, and uh, yeah, I'm just spewing. Like, I still remember it. it was so traumatic and horrible. It was so bad. Like, I've, I don't think I've ever puked so much, mate. Apart from that one time when I got that bad food poisoning and both ends went at once, and I had to just wrap myself up in a shower curtain and get in the bath. <laughs> Why did he have to be wrapped in a shower curtain though? Because, man, it was just going everywhere. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you see, as if you're like spraying the walls. No, like. man, it was. It was that. It was that was real bad. That was the dark Fuck time. You know. That was the dark time. And the thing is, because the shower curtain was waterproof, and it was sort of like <laughs> a blind. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that was also a bass, the worst option in that circumstance. You need no, a it worked. You just run the fucking taps and just drain it away. You know, <laughs> just drain all that stuff away. Get rid of it. So that was a bad okay. time. That was a bad time. Um, but anyway, so I was. So I still remember it now. You know, people were like coming in. And everyone was like, "Ah, he's being sick." Ah, <laughs> desperately ill. I'm dying of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a bacon sandwich in an ashtray, mate? Oh, fucking, fuck off. <laughs> I was absolutely fucked. Like, I've never been so ill in all my days off booze. I couldn't touch, I didn't touch vodka for fucking, I mean, seriously, like 10 years maybe. It just, like, honestly, it was unreal how bad. Like, I had, it took me a while to be fucking even sniff vodka, mate. It was just ideal aversion therapy. I have that with Jaeger from when. Me and my mates went on a night out, and it was just three of us, and I was depressed as fuck. And this is when I had recently <laughs> gotten a job in esports, so I was like king of Port Talbot. Yeah. So I just went to the bar and I ordered 30 Jaeg bombs. And they were just uh, like, Are you sure with it? I was like, Yeah. <laughs> so then we which just bar did was a Jaeg, just a spoons in, oh, uh, yeah. in Station Road, mate. You know well. Yeah. And we just downed all the Zegas, and it was just the worst experience of my life afterwards. Literally, like, my insides the next day were just rotten, just straight shit in blood, just, like, get me out of this hellhole. And now just a smell of Jaeg, it just brings back regret. Yeah, my, my mate Mickey McGee, he fucking, he's got that with tequila. <laughs> yeah, because uh, one night we got, oh, it was fucking hilarious, mate. I'd never seen anything so pathetic, right? Um, in a good way. Like, he got so drunk, right? We were playing some music, and he was, like, on the sofa with, like, his eyes closed, like, doing this. <laughs> like, just <laughs> having a dance in his mind, you know? <laughs> and he just kept saying, like, this is the most drunk I've ever been. <laughs> and I was like, you need to go to fucking bed, mate. You're arsehole. So... <laughs> He fell up. I've never seen anything like this. It defied gravity. Like <laughs> he fell up a flight of stairs. Like he fell, tripped on the first step, then did like a forward roll <laughs> up the stairs. Though 
<laughs> I've never seen anything like it, mate. I was like watching it, like fucking hell. Thought you were going to do a crab walk the, way, the rest of the fucking way. Like, unreal. Like. So, so anyway, but the point getting back to the shit we're talking about is, uh, you know, imagine if, imagine if back then we'd had mobile phones, right, and the internet and cameras yeah. everywhere. And there's me on all fours, like fucking, just spewing like. Aah! You'd have some dickhead around the door now, wouldn't you? He's having a spew. Wait, wait. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it would be on Facebook. And it would be getting brought up now. It'd literally be getting brought up now. Like, you know, Richard Lewis for, works for E-League. Is sick. In toilet. When 14. <laughs> yeah. Delinquent, mate. 50 like, years ago. Easy. <laughs> so anyway, so the point is, go easy on this young kid. Because we're all dickheads when we're young, right? Like it, it, It's just par for the course. But anyway, Ben Kirby Kirby. And it was reported... I hate when people do that. It triggers me so much. Like your surname, it can't be your gamer name. It just can't, it can't be. Like, you did this. We've established this. Like Johnny <laughs> At least Jenkins. have a wizard name. Exactly, though. Sam, but, but you know, Sam Davis is a gamer name is shit. Like, yeah, Sam Davy if, Dave. Yeah, if you were called Sa- Sam Davis Davis. <laughs> yeah, oh, what if I take the A out? Divs. Divs. There you go. Edge. Bollocks, mate. Yeah, Edge. Uh, it's bollocks. Um, but anyway, and this was reported on UKCS Go, which is probably run by people that I'm going to cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Heath this video. And, uh, yeah he's, he's another yeah. one I, I love him mate Blanks is a fucking legend yeah. um, I had many a beer with that fucker but uh, anyway it's been brought to our attention that Ben Kirby Kirby a standout player from the last I series I mean Jesus Christ like, <laughs> you know what I mean like how low is the fucking bar here like right, you got fucking oh we, we've talked about this before mate but like who do who's who's the blind celebrity now that everyone uses Helen Keller. No. Like, right, because you know when we were growing up, you yeah. had Stevie Wonder, you know, and you'd make the joke like, have you seen Stevie Wonder's new keyboard? Neither is he. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you know I what think I mean? it's Helen Keller. That's the one I use most often. Who the fuck is she? I've, I know I, him. I think she's deaf. Is is dumb, I, uh, is dumb wait, a phrase? Dumb. Yeah, there you go. I knew. Deaf, no, dumb, and blind. Deaf, like oh, you don't say that, mate. Yeah, <laughs> and now I don't know what the phrase is. Mute, you fucking idiot. Don't say <laughs> dumb anymore, do you? Yeah. I don't know. What I didn't know it was literally the word dumb. I thought it was something else. Yeah, that's what people used to say if you couldn't talk properly. No, 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 but it's different. I'm sure it is. No, it's not, mate. When you're <laughs> deaf and dumb, that's what they used to fucking say, mate. Don't say that no more. <laughs> I, don't know. Do I? I don't. I don't know a lot of people that can't. I mean, I, you, uh, he's dumb. You don't say that, do you? <laughs> I That's thought fucking... it wasn't actually the word D U M B. I thought it was like something else in the sound of the same. <laughs> no, unfortunately, it is though. That's the point. <laughs> right. It's almost as if we were a bit insensitive about that shit. <laughs> but but right? Right, anyway, so... not, I know. I know she that might Helen not Keller... even be. By the way, she might not even. <laughs> be. I know. I know, I know. I know the story. Like, yeah, she. Yeah, right. Fuck that. It's like uh, she was in a coma or something. For ages. Anyway, fuck it, right? There's got to be a, a cool blind celebrity. Has to be one. Because, like, right, obviously, like, other people before we got Stevie Wonder, you know, Ray, Ray Charles and that. Yeah. So uh, they were probably like, saying, have you seen Ray Charles' new piano? <laughs> Neither's he. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and that's the joke evolves. But I just don't know who it is now. Probably. When he, anyway, I was going to say, you would have to be whoever this new blind celebrity is. To stand out at the ice series, that's what we're going to say. But obviously, I don't know. We, we need one, so get on that, Sam. Uh, but yeah, accusations were thrown around apparently because uh, of the standout ice series he had, and uh, he came out of nowhere, you know. And again, like I said, it's a real low fucking bar. Like this is like this is like being king of a hill, but the hill is made of shit, and uh, the crown that you have to wear to be king of it is made of use syringes you know it's like it's fucking pretty bad um and he he's obviously denied that he was ever a cheater blah 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 classic stuff then he was going to the most recent i series and uh they came across some chat logs where he was basically asking for hacks he was just asking for cheats 
Uh, and I won't read some of it out. There's some words in there which probably better I don't say. Uh, classic. Classic UK. That's another thing they do. Um, and he's asking for a trial of this platinum cheat. And the platinum cheat is designed specifically for LAN. Okay. Um, and what this person did, because it was all a bait, they were pretending to be Zen who's a well-known piece of shit uh, in Counter-Strike. Uh, and basically, they said, ha-ha, we've given you the platinum cheats. But actually, they hadn't. They'd just given him a piece of shit public cheat that's probably going to get him vac banned because it's, you know, it's just a public hack. And he used it to test it out. I mean, and again, you've got to say, if there's ever any accusations about you being a cheat, I don't get why you would be inquiring about cheats if you've never done it. You know what I mean? It's like it's obvious that you would just have a toggle, wouldn't you? you obviously, he's obviously been toggling the entire time. So there's these videos of him, which we'll play. Can, can we do that? Yeah. We're, we're, are you going to play it live? Yeah, let's do it live. Let's do it live. I mean, I, all right, I'll, I'll just watch them as well on my end. You can't unmute it for some reason. Although that's not much to hear. It's just him like, oh, I can shoot through walls. Yeah. That's him. Yeah, it's that's basically, yeah, it's basically him realizing. Oh. What? If you cheat, you can do amazing. What? <laughs> there's one bit. Like, there's one bit in the first video, right? Hang on. <laughs> Let me tell you when it is. Right, 12 <laughs> seconds, mate. Pl play Damn. that laugh. Okay. Like 12 seconds. What? Was it? What? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, could you be more of a rat human hybrid if you tried? <laughs> but our uh, master, master splinter. <laughs> it's like, fucking hell, mate. Like, just really make yourself like, uh, this is d ugh, 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 just greasy nerd what? voice. Like, just, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> fucking noob. <laughs> This is so, not even like, there's the second wanted. video which when he, where he actively yeah, he talks realizes. this is why this this is well, this why this is one's some important next level one. because this he actively like, talks is... about oh I should I have the like uh, I should the have the fucking one. private version I don't think this is the private version which basically why? just confirms the entire fucking story so yeah I got I think I've got the main one Just like something that looks legit on land. Right. So he had a response, right, to to uh, when it all came out publicly. Brilliant, classic UK. This mate owned myself, haven't I? What I mean? So unreal, dude. I've owned myself, haven't I? Yeah, yeah, have me. yeah, yeah, you have. Simply have they like, owned myself, haven't I? What a fucking mess. Um, oh myself, haven't I? But and then he's like, "Hang on, do I need to commit to this?" Nah, let's have a lie. <laughs> it's fake because I was baiting him out because he has a bad past, and I was seeing if he stuck to his word. What? Don't even. But know but but, but, but yeah, but I'm in the wrong. I, right, I was just on an alt yeah, and I got bored, so I was like, because I knew Afro had links with cheat owner. Uh, cheat owners, etc. I thought you could get me a trial of this cheat. I was using cheating on LAN as a bait. I would never ever do that. It's a GG. <laughs> it's a, a fucking GG, mate. Now, it's interesting, actually, because um, we have seen players return from being busted before, such as Kin Deadly. Remember Kin? Nah. He yeah, and we're going to talk about him a little bit later on, but he was busted in Source. I remember it quite well. That was when he was playing for Vi. Um, which was vis what was it? Visualize your em enmity and enmity. Visualize your enmity. I think it was. No idea. What an edgy name, though. Yeah, it's a real, like because I remember they got knocked out of a fucking tournament, and I just dropped the old visualize your exit. <laughs> fucking cut. got him. Got him. Back when I was straight savage. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Not this on record because it was sourced. Um, but yeah, unbelievable, mate. Uh. 
so I, and I, you know, they, it was really weird actually because they, they took the measure to ban him from multiplay any i series events uh and he said that uh kirby's going to be banned from participating in prized events at any insomnia event for a minimum period of 12 months at which point the player is welcome to appeal the ban so it could be ongoing uh players cheating in any form should not be taken lightly and we feel that this is an acceptable level of punishment given the context and i actually saw there was a column on the same website and you know, credit for uk csgo they broke the story kind of did the investigation caught the cunt out fucking published it but then also published a column saying uh this is bad you know like um he shouldn't be treated this way it was an opinion piece it's not particularly well written it's not particularly long but you know it's an opinion piece you know well good, good on them for giving that broad spectrum fair and balanced dare i say it so uh i i, I gotta say fucking credit to credit to multiplayer for this actually yeah yeah why the fuck not right our event, he's inquiring about looking at getting cheats. The evidence is good. He's copped to it. Fuck it. He can have a 12-month ban. I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'd like to see shit like that. Like if, if, again, let's scale it up a little bit. Let's imagine a fucking, you know, a real player got caught doing this. I'd want them for, yeah, fuck yeah. You know, have a ban. Fuck you. Have a ban. Have a fucking ban, mate. So... So that's the sad story of Kirby. And, you know, look, again, he's just a kid. So that's that. But someone who isn't a kid, next person we're talking about. And I like this guy. Yeah, nice. I've, I've, pretty sound. I, he is sound, though, isn't he? But Joe, Joe CSGO, he got caught in an ESL game having a cheat. And the thing is, as well, he's another fella, right? Like, sound as fuck. We've had, you know, we've had we've had loads of drinks together. He, he's smart. He's switched on. He's not an idiot. And he's another one who just, like, you know, no time for cheaters, like fucking dirty cheating rats type thing, you know. And then he goes and does this. It's disappointing. You know? It's like all my fucking role models just let me down, Sam. <laughs> Started with my dad, now it's Joe CSGO. Kirby's a big role model in your life, isn't it? Fuck that. But, but, <laughs> but Joe, Joe, Joe was, and they always just let me down. They always just let me down, man. You know? So, uh, basically what happened with Joe was he was playing in an ESL game. I mean, you fill me in on the fucking minutia here. What was it, like a qualifier or something? Uh, I think it was a qualifier to the ESL UK Premiership, something like that. Or EPS, yeah. one or the other. <laughs> And they were having a game, and uh, he got banned part way through the game uh, for, for cheating. Um, we've got the video for that here as well, haven't we? Yeah, it's fucking pretty good. Like, you you want to definitely play that one then? Yeah. One's on team, team one drop team, one's bank fucking fountain. Oh, that's dribbling. What's stopping there? <laughs> kicked for cheating. Unreal, isn't it? You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> It's just happened there. <laughs> up, what's happened there? <laughs> he got fucking banned for being a rat. That's what happened. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, again, like, ridiculous uh, situation. And, you know, he, he is, a, I guess, these days, he's a pretty well established player uh, in the UK, obviously, in, in, in the UK terms. And he just went straight on Twitter and tweeted out. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> like, what did you think was going to happen? Like, you know? Um, so he's got his ESL ban, uh, which is, you know, the 12 point cheating ban. Uh, and he's banned in all leagues. For two years, a... that's a bit aggro. Nah, two years for a cheating ban in a league. Fuck you. Two years is actually de that's decent, I think. Two years to get your shit together. Fair play, like. All right, mate. Having a fucking Steffi, yeah? For an online league or something, I think it's a little aggro. No, oh, fuck it, mate. That's worse. Is it? What's it is? It's worse, yeah, like, if it's online. I know there's some people cheating in online leagues for way more money. Right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> but get caught, get punished. Like, that's that's got to be the system we use. You know? I've seen, the, I've seen the clips, mate, but I'm a believer that this justice has to have a system, has to prevail. We've got to 
you know, well, I'll, look, I'll do an entire video about this topic at some point. I've not weighed in on the whole cheating thing, uh, but I will. I mean, obviously, we're going to do an interview with Dan M, aren't we? Yeah. That's going yeah. to be that's going to be a legend, man. Yeah. That's going to be. Da, 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 da. I can't wait for that. Anyway, so uh, Joe, right, uh, basically tweeted out for fuck's sake. Uh, went a bit ham on Twitter, but you can see, like, on this UKCSGO article, response from the scene has been a mix of shock, surprise, and anger from both former teammates and those currently playing with him. Charlie Pickles Pickles. See, another guy. <laughs> right there, mate. <laughs> I, if you're gay Lay off him, mate. His last name's Pickles. He's had it rough. Lay off him. Fair enough. Fair enough, right? But <laughs> the point still stands. Right. If your gaming name was just Pickles and your surname wasn't, that's brilliant. Yeah. Love that. Just imagine getting wrecked by someone called Pickles. You'd be <laughs> damping, wouldn't you? <laughs> but the fact that it's just his surname, Charlie Pickles. He sounds like a fucking children's party <laughs> entertainer that does balloon animals. Are you all ready, kids? It's Charlie Pickles! <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> right. Sorry, Charlie, mate. I'm sure you're a nice guy. Anyway, he said... Uh, oh, that's, that's a super boring statement. <laughs> why, why, do people, <laughs> no, listen, right? why do people do this, though? No. Why do people add, like, details? It's completely unnecessary. Like, before the game, we were playing on retake, getting warm for... The, like, no one gives a fuck, mate. No one gives a fuck about this bit. And he was hitting dodgy shots. It's known in the UK as a joke that Joe cheat. However, I knew there was something dodgy going on. Played the game and he was on four frags in the first half. He then says, I've crashed. Classic, by the way. <laughs> I've had a crash. Classic banter. <laughs> oh, out of control, alt delete. I've crashed, lads. I'm just <laughs> definitely not injecting hacks into the game. Fucking hell, I'm, I'm mint now. He stopped all the time back in the day. He restarts his PC and comes back, at which point, I was saying he's clearly toggling. He comes back a few rounds into T half. He's still not done much for us. Very quiet. And then he gets banned for cheating. So he didn't even have a good game. I know. Live it. It's sad that this happened at this level and it ruins opportunities for other players. But fair play to him if that's what he felt he needed to do. Again, probably just <laughs> my last sentence out, mate. Yeah, Again, like, just imagine, imagine this guy. At yeah. this level. Charlie Pickle, yeah, the, the what? The, <laughs> Charlie Pickles said after O.J. Simpson went to prison, <laughs> you know, it's tragic and terrible that this has had to happen. But fair play to him if it's what he felt he needed to do. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> fair, fair, I, I guess in his mind, fair, fair play to him then. Fucking no, not fair play to him. It's not the opposite. Sound. It's not sound. It's the opposite of fair play to him. He was cheating. It's not fair play, is it? Fucking hell, Charlie. And then, another teammate, former Kaz player, Kaz, remember Kaz? Big Z, I'm Big Z. See what I mean? Is Big Z. Hey, you all right, Big Z? You all right, Big Z? <laughs> get your org for a pand. Roll up, roll up, get your org for a pand. <laughs> right? Do people understand now what a fucking bumbling nightmare it's like a carnival of cunts like it's just unbelievable like they just come out one at a time the uk scene is fucked anyway what can i say it's become uh, somewhat of a mean joke that joe actually cheats right maybe there's no, maybe in this instance everyone's joking about <laughs> yeah he cheats doesn't he probably does then doesn't he turns out he did brilliant <laughs> yeah it's been a joke for years Classic that still meme women been a joke for years that sam kills women and the funny thing is whenever a woman goes around his house she disappears but yeah classic whatever. meme it's just a classic <laughs> meme <laughs> <laughs> <And> about... <laughs> imagine my surprise when they started pulling them out the walls who knew her <laughs> who saw that coming you fucking serious classic meme <laughs> It's been going on for that long. Everyone just assumed he didn't cheat. Sensible. My mixed team for this was not meant to be something special, but would have been fun to play the full tournament. I'm over the moon this has happened, though, as it's absolutely wrong of him to intentionally cheat other people out of potential prize pools, etc. He'll serve his time, and I'm sure we'll never see him play in any kind of top UK CS ever again. Fucking that sentence. I know, innit? 
We'll never see him playing any kind of top UK. We're not look, the UK is not playing any kind of top fucking CS, is it? It's fucked. It's horrible. So what makes it really good uh, was that Joe then came out on fucking uh, Twitter and said, "Yeah, well, Lord's people are having a buy. Yeah. We all bought them together." Have you got the tweet there? I haven't yeah, got. I'll get it. Let me just find it. Hopefully, he hasn't deleted it. It's alright. You can have a read, mate. Let's see if I can find it. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> definitely gotta just not do that when I oh, say, "Hey, Sam." Okay, yeah. that. He said, uh, by the way, if you want to know more people cheating on the scene, look at Connor CS, Jenko, XF P- Pizzle, Dreamin, and Kin Deadly at the end of that title. Good old Kin Deadly again. like. <laughs> so so uh, he, he, he was very open about it, and fair play to him for that at least. Like, he didn't do the old false positive or, you know, like I've seen people try and still wriggle out of this shit at this point. Um, probably it's not the only time he's ever cheated. Uh, to be honest, because again, like to get in touch with someone to get a private cheat for a game of this magnitude, you know, all feels a little bit too fluid and then crashing at half time and turn it on and stuff. But uh, you can see, like, um, he says there's no proof or whatever, but we bought it from a Ukrainian uh, called Keybode. Uh, and then it's just a game. It was fun. And it's still fun looking at the tweets. No, I'm done to anyone, so what's the problem? Which, yeah, again, may, look, even if that was true. Which it isn't, but yeah, don't just don't say that. Just just leave that thought in your head. <laughs> so, um, so that was that. So another another one bites the dust, mate. And I think as well, multiplay coming. Well, <laughs> it's Craig Fletcher now. <laughs> bow 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 bow. <laughs> Don't you think it's him? Yeah. Don't you think it's him? Nah, it's not. No. It's, uh, it's Mark Buckley who does it, mate. There you go. It's fucking Mark Buckley just comes in. And again, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. It's like, you know, this kind of reactive thing. Oh, you got banned from ESL. Well, usually organizations and tournaments don't mirror the bans. They, there was a very effective system like this in Denmark where if you got banned from one LAN event, all the others followed. All the others would just ban. You know, that's it, right? You, you, you fuck up at one event. Whatever reason, as well, it could be something like antisocial behavior, you know, because some of those Danish line events did used to get pretty fucking wild. They were like my fucking school discos, mate. <laughs> you know? They were, they were Come banging slaps, Smith. Yeah, game of slaps, half a bottle of vodka. <laughs> you know what I mean? And a game of slaps and a spew. But yeah, so banned from multiplayer events as well for twelve months. So you probably didn't see that coming. And out he goes. Um, so. Again, just cheating, rife. Now, you think to yourself, but Rich, you can't use two players as an example of why the UK scene's rotten to the core. Well, you're right. He's right. They're right. Whoever's saying that is right. Not doing that, though. So you're wrong, but you're right. So it's the CEOs as well, mate. The people that supposedly run this shit. <laughs> they're, all, they're just fucked in the head, mate. They're all fucked in the feed. Um <laughs> You ever heard of a guy called uh, JD? Definitely have no miss. <laughs> right. Well, okay. So there's this organization uh, called Hostile. And I couldn't fucking believe this, dog. So basically, they announced, right, that they got a big new partner. Fuck, hang on. I got to get this up for you. Because uh, <laughs> I, I didn't give it to you in the show notes. Uh huh. Uh, right, well, here it is. Official press release. I have a fuck. You're having a bubble, mate. This is unreal. Like, right, just have a. Here you go. Right. So you bring that up on screen. So Hostile announced, um, you know, a fucking and a, a partnership with Skybet, right? So Skybet is obviously the betting division branch of of Sky Sports. Okay. And we all know gambling, esports. You know, there's, we, we're talking about how regulation's going to come in. So I, I got wind of that, and I thought it's not implausible. It's just this organization's tiny, and sometimes that can happen. Sometimes a tiny organization can blag a really big sponsor, and it's like they're just in the right place at the right time. They happen to know somebody. You know, they got looking for a lot of money. Yeah, not exactly right. 
and it lets them dip the toe in the water. It, it can totally happen. And I, I just, I've always told organisations to have a, you just have a punt. Always have a punt when it comes to sponsorship. Um, but this press release, mate, right? So over at Hostile, we are always looking for new partners and new industries to work in and grow in. We decided with esports growing and the rise of CSGO, League of Legends, and Call of Duty betting that partnering with a betting site would be the new right move. We decided to team up with Skybet to bring the latest offers and bets to the esport industry as it's a fact that sport is so much more exciting and brings out more passion when money is on the line. It's a fact. It's just a fact. Fact. Man. fact. Medically proven fact. 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 Huge fact me till I fart. Fact. <laughs> we would like to thank Skybet for partnering with us. And we look forward to working with them in the future. Our CEO, Jordan Brown, has said, when deciding what betting company to go with, right? So that, we had all yeah, these options. all had their hands out, of course. Yeah, we, we, had, we had all these options, right? When deciding what betting company to go with, there is only one that stands out from the park. What? Park, sorry, fuck. I was going to say. I thought, yeah, fucking, I got someone on my monitor. <laughs> 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 Made the C look like an army. Right, there you, you go. Know. Uh, right, from, I was going to that would have been nods. Stands out from the park. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> what's he doing out the park? Like, get back in the park. <laughs> and that is Skybet. It's a no-brainer, but to work with them, and we cannot wait to get started. And that's just like most cringeworthy use of like CEO. You know, like, I'm a CEO. I got to come out and say the right thing. Yep, great partnership. You could say it's a no-brainer. No brains required to make this decision. You know, fucking come on. And right he was. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, just from nowhere, don't do this in the press release. I'm pretty sure you don't have to do this in the press release. We'd like to remind all of our followers that betting is 18+. plus. Okay, fair, fair fucks. And we urge everyone to use it as fun and not a way of making money. Then, when the fun stops, for help on gambling problems and to read more, please go here. And it's a, a link to an NHS web page on a gambling addiction then after that we cannot wait to get started <laughs> <laughs> oh, make it up mate <sighs> you can't make it up you, know. you can't make it up we cannot wait to get started uh we just want to say that you've got to be 18 plus uh crippling gambling addiction is terrible uh this is an nhs page if the ever stops you've just got to stop uh we've got no moral quandaries about partnering with these people but we just want you to know about this shit anyway as i said we cannot wait he even repeats the line what is this comedy? What is this fucking comedy? I like so, how he finishes it out with a picture of himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just for no reason. For no reason. Just hey, everyone. Back. I'm a CEO. I've got my name on the back of a hoodie, so you know I'm fucking... You know I'm legit. <laughs> Holy shit. Fucking says asylum. Appropriate. I'm going to need to be in one after this. <laughs> so here's the thing, though, Sam. Because obviously Skybet didn't partner with Hostile, did they? Skybet don't know who Hostile is. They've never had, you know, more tea, JD. Lovely hoodie. That's <laughs> na- that's a nice shade of luminous blue. Uh, we got the luminous pink and the luminous green. Or shall we be sending those away in refugee care packages today? You know, it's unbelievable, right? So they don't know who the fuck he is. And then it, it's, people pointed this out on Twitter. And they said, dude, it's not a partnership. And what he'd done was they'd got an affiliate link. <laughs> that was it. It's an affiliate link. Anybody can go there. You can go there. We can go. There. We could do it for the show. Like, like Audible. Sh- yeah. Just like <laughs> Audible, which, by the way, if you like talking books, um, check out uh, Audible. Uh, it's uh, it's the one on the overlay. <laughs> got him. <laughs> audible.com slash RL show or something. Like Almost. Audibletrial.com forward slash RL show. It's audibletrial.com slash RL show. Go there. Download a talking book. Uh, maybe one day you can be smart enough to run your own UK organization like JD. For a pound. For a pound. You roll up, roll up. Right. So the, it's an affiliate link. That's all it is, dude. It's an affiliate link. So people pointed this out. And it is true, mate. Right. A, it's definitely an affiliate link. And what made it real cringeworthy was members are hostile were like tweeting going, start betting on Skybet now. It'll be lit. And they were doing it like FaZe Clan. 
were doing it for CSGO <laughs> Wild, right? Like, just some budget shit version of it, right? So, <laughs> they're encouraging people to go and use this affiliate link. And people were saying, it's just an affiliate link, mate. So, the CEO, JD, where well, he starts having a kickoff, doesn't he, mate? He is livid. Right, so let's have a look, because I've oh, there's so much just gold here. Like, I'll dig out those archive tweets. So I think it was, was this the first one? Yeah, this is the first one. <laughs> so, so bored of the same people going around attacking people. Honestly, about to lose my shit. <laughs> CEO. <laughs> a hostile, you know. I'm about to lose my shit, mate. I'm about to fucking lose my shit. This keeps going on. Then... Somebody said, in reply to that, nobody is attacking you. Please don't enter victim mode. To which JD responds, you're a cunt. Simple as. <laughs> the wrong you're. Yeah, of course. Of course. You're a cunt. Simple as, mate. And then Esports Lawrence says, I'm loving this, mate. Now, I don't know. Did we get a screenshot of this? Because uh, what he what he replied to that with? Let me just see if I did. Because what he replied to that with JD was he replied to it with your router won't mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. Have we got that? I, I think he said it to me. It's not not recently though, but I think the first time he did. Uh, can you can you see if you can get it just so we can we'll clarify this? Have a sniff. I'm gonna just quickly have a look and see if I can uh, find it in my history as well. Because I'm sure someone sent it to me. Um, and I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it because obviously what he means by that, Sam, is I'm going to DDoS you. Yeah. I'm going to DDoS attack you. I've got it here. I've got it here, mate. You got it? Yeah. Hang on. Let me just, um, fuck you now. We haven't planned this well at all. Another shit show. <laughs> it's fucking terrible, mate. It's a terrible shit show. All right. Hang on. Fuck me. I've got some, got some images on this laptop like that. Half the week. <laughs> So, Might want to start deleting a few of these. Like, just ridiculous shit. Like it's all Phantom Lord stuff and fucking. Uh, I don't need any of this really. Um, and a screenshot of when the League of Legends subreddit got hacked uh, and put a member of ISIS on the front. <laughs> uh, that was a good day. So you go, mate. That should be the one. You know the reason I'm the reason I'm taking obviously the, the, these lengths is, is is important, mate. It's important to prove this stuff. Uh, so there you go. There's the proof. So will your router. So this is the CEO of a UK organization publicly threatening to DDoS people for pointing out his big sponsorship deal is a fucking affiliate link. And you've wrote a press release for it, you fucking mug. <laughs> what a mug. So, and it doesn't end there because um, I actually asked around and I was like, he's just, he's just had a meltdown, hasn't he? He's just fucking melted. He's a chocolate teapot, right? And they were like, nah, 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 he does this. He, he's DDoSed a bunch of people. And I was like, what? Like, nah, but yeah. And a few people provided some, uh, you know, the anecdotal evidence, testimony, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and you can see that here. It was the first one. Uh, you know, what kind of shit does he do? He just likes to boot people off. So uh, people uh, told me, a load of people in the a AM scene don't like him. Yeah, no one does. What kind of shit does he do? Just likes to boot people off. So there was a lot of people, players in leagues, that said like when he was playing against them, they'd suddenly experience these issues. You know, they were just getting botnetted or whatever, and he would just be DDoSing them. And then there was a, a bit more bit, bit more of a lengthy explanation here. He plays under his own org, boots people offline to win matches when in tournaments. So not a big fan of him there. He DDoS me to win multiple times to win an AW, then lied about playing a rule set against us at LAN. So that alone makes me dislike him. And in general, he's just a dick. You can see that from how he tweets. I'm inclined to agree. So... I just could, again c couldn't believe it. So CEO of a UK organization, he's kicking off. I'm about to lose my shit and DDoS people. <laughs> right? Doesn't end there though. Doesn't end there with this clown. Because uh, oh, this is again just ridiculous. Now, uh, Sam, one of the things I like to talk about on this show is scams. 
Right. We love a good scam artist, don't yeah, we? we do. yeah, and we fucking we, we call them out, don't we? Love a good con. Yeah. So what's this, mate? Somebody um, called Luke Biddle, and again, literally, I don't know the ins and outs of this. I'm not going to pretend I've researched this part. I literally just pulled this tweet because I couldn't fucking believe my own eyes when we were about to sit down and record the show. <laughs> and Luke Biddle, who plays for Rise, apparently, I'm an ex-football player for the Berska Bullets. So everyone's got fucking delusions, haven't they? <laughs> everyone's <laughs> a delusional train wreck of a human being. <laughs> Ex for me saying I'm an ex footballer. Played played for fucking Morgan. Played for Avon Lido, but Yeah, played played on the Avon Lido, mate. Before it burnt down. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway. JD just used us. Ha ha G N. I guess that means good night. Uh, and then someone asks him how. He said we played in this league thing for him and got second, and he's not given us any money. Ha ha. Like this guy just loves a laugh. How much would you get? And he says, 10, I think. It is what it is. Reason we lost. I'm like, what, 10,000? Like, you know, fuck. It's a big deal, right? Yeah. Uh, and, he, and then it goes, JD chimes in. No offense, but from watching that fringe, you were the reason they lost. Uh, please explain. I'm an SMG player using a sub and still making most kills. Ha ha. Again, he missed five ones. That was one of link, blah, blah. They're having an argument over the minutiae of the game. Uh, and then. Somebody says it. Are people actually moaning over ten pounds? It's ten pounds, Sam. <laughs> it's a tenner, mate. So <laughs> fucking fucking hell, get a grip. Bulldog rampage. I'm inclined to agree with you, mate. Get a fucking grip. And then JD wades in and he goes, I mean, I paid ten pounds for the league. If they cash out at twenty quid, they get two pounds. <laughs> <laughs> This is how grim UK esports is, mate. This is how grim it is. Fighting to the teeth over two and fifty. It, mate, oh. <laughs> mate. I could and then like Matt again, like I could understand it if it was two hundred and fifty each, but two pound fifty each, come on. And Luke Biddle's like, we played for two days just for his team mates to shit the fucking bed. Uh and then <laughs> JD just bids grow up, man. Take the loss. So, <laughs> bids. He, Fuck up now, bids. Yeah. He scammed him out of a ten of it. He scammed <laughs> bids out of £2.50, mate. <laughs> it is the shittest Grow scam. Up now and take the loss. Take yeah, that £2.50 is, loss. It is the shittest scam I've ever heard. It is the most low key nonsense. It's just ridiculous. Just give him the two pound fifty mid bids. I'll send you a tenner, mate. Come on, like let's just fucking <laughs> let's make UK sports great again. Two pound fifty. I've taken two pound fifty. You're not having it. You're not having your two pound. Fucking hell! What does that even do? What is the point of robbing that? What not are you going to do with that, Chris? <laughs> mate, <laughs> not even though. <laughs> Not even you don't even get a fucking Domino's for that. What the fuck is this? It's unreal, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna spend mine on Freddo's. <laughs> I'm having an Evans pie. Sound <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> fucking Ginster's pasty for me down the fucking down the petrol station. <laughs> I can't believe it, mate. I can't believe it. Grow up so, and take the loss. <laughs> grow up. <laughs> Just grow up. I've, I've stolen £2.50 of you, and there's a lesson in there. There's a lesson in there for you, mate. Fucking hell, come on. Come on. Can we all have a whip round? Taking a pipe from his lips, mate. Literally, literally. <laughs> 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 I imagine how much better it would have been. Up, no, but <laughs> it would have been, oh, been actually funny if he did that. If yeah, he yeah. went down to find it, that's my way. <laughs> <laughs> Real, uh, uh, unreal just about oh fucking hell cheers for this GD mate I fucking had a oh it was a tough game that one I'll be having that son <laughs> I'll oh, play the league entry oh, for you. you're round <laughs> fucking blow up right <laughs> take the loss now you've lost a pint take oh, the loss so it's a shambles it's a shambles and 
and obviously like this is just a new level of embarrassment that I've never seen before you know it just it's so fucked up now round out the fucking show this is a special one isn't it mate this is the most surreal shit I've ever seen so yeah. you you, you the fucking story about what's going on here but right so i'm in these like there's a few closed uk face group face group facebook groups right so for like uk scene and it it hasn't got that many people and it's basically just everyone goes by series and i saw this news post from fatic and they released their csgo team after epic i was like all right cool i read into it as like kin deadly didn't pay attention it's basically just giving kin deadly digs essentially a couple of sly digs Mm -hmm. i was like sound whatever didn't bother reading into it. Then <laughs> this cunt puts out this essay that is the most insane shit I've ever read, and not what? because of what it's in it, the fact that he's written it and decided that that's all right to go out. Okay, well let's have a look, mate. Let's have a look. Let's um, roll up, roll up. Have you got it, mate? Right, yep, got it, mate. Matt okay. Litherland, a name that I'm familiar with, I think. Um, Hang on. and this 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 guy's the CEO. The CEO of Attic, mate. CEO of Attic, but didn't you didn't you say he's had a he's had a cheeky buy of some Twitter bots? Yeah, yeah. So on his Twitter, if you go to his Twitter, <laughs> he's got ten point four k followers, mate. Quite a lot, you know what I mean? Big entrepreneur. Previously worked at Nike, Red Bull, Spotify. You know, he's a travelled man. I was like, it's a lot of followers. Seems bullshit yeah. though. So let's have a sniff. Let's go to twitteraudit.com and let's put in the big. Is he going to load? There he is. The big Matt since 87. All ah, right. 13% of those are real then, are they? So you've got uh, 1,000 followers is what you mean. It is the thing though, right? Like, again, tangent incoming, right? Like, why why do you do that? Because here's the thing. Like, Twitter order exists, and I know it's not entirely accurate. You know, I've run my shit. I, I've never bought Twitter followers. I've run my shit through there, and I think I'm at about 72 or something. 72%. 71 right now. 71. Um... And that's disappointing because obviously, you know, you look at 80,000, you think, fucking okay, that's decent. And then, oh, well, you know, 25% of that's just fucking porn bots or something. I'm 84, you know? mate, big. Yeah. Um, but that happens, you know, that's just obviously how the mechanics of Twitter work. You know, I had a lot of people with a sizable number of followers, they're down there in that 70 to 80% range. But like, imagine, right, if you, if you know that the vast majority of your Twitter followers are not real, what are you doing? Like who? Who? Who are you tweeting to? Right. Well, I've bought myself ten thousand imaginary friends. Anyone want a pint? <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? And you know, like I get. Obviously, people might look at your Twitter and go, oh, ten thousand followers, bloody hell. He's important. <laughs> he his opinions matter. He's what we call an influencer." But you've got Twitter audit. So obviously, I might just go, like you did, out of curiosity, I'm just going to run his name for Twitter audit. And lies. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it's all lies. I know, it's so easily proven the opposite. I don't get it. No, and I, just, I, I, I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. I don't understand the motivation for it. You know, I, I actually know some respectable people that have bought Twitter followers. Real influencers that at the start, you know, they wanted to like their, their their idea was, oh well, people are more likely to follow you if you've got follow. Like, it's, it's fucked up, right? It's just so weird. Like, what is the point? The whole point of Twitter is that you have you reach people that give a fuck about what you've got to say, or if you produce content, you know, it goes out to somebody that can give you a click on that content. Like, I'm at, like again, if I just bought an additional eighty thousand bots. I might just do it. Fuck it. And then I'm still going to get the same amount of people clicking through on my content, right? Because if you don't grow it organically, it's fucking pointless. So I don't get it. It's a very weird status thing to do. It makes no sense to me. But anyway, so I know this guy. And uh, this is unbelievable, mate. When a this CEO is, is making though. a fucking statement like this. So obviously, Vatic had some problems. Uh, the team had some problems. And like you said... To preface it, you know, they were, they were singling out one player. So the CEO wades in and he says, I've updated the article and come across somewhat more professional. <laughs> I know, it. I know, I know it's the perfect Ooh. start. It's the perfect Ooh. start. I'm going to make this article somewhat more professional. Now, guys, you don't know why we're laughing, right? But you're going to very fucking quick because <laughs> I've argued about the meaning of the word professional and how it's changed. But one thing I can agree on, it never meant this. 
It never meant this. <laughs> it's never, ever, ever meant Fuck this. Fuck it out. There seem to have been some misunderstanding of the context of certain points in the original article. Let me be absolutely clear. Vatic is a UK organization ran in the free time of several people who all share a passion for competitive esports. The purpose of Vatic is to provide support for the UK community and in turn help boost the competitive scene. We do not make money from it, and much of it is self-funded. Much time and expense is put in daily to Vatic, so when a player whom you place your trust in abuses that trust, it creates boiled emotion and disappointment. Ken was kicked from the team because of exactly the following reasons. I'm leaving no room for m more misinterpretation here. During the Epic 18, while his teammates had summoned a wheat and since left the bar after a few pints, Ken found himself smoking marijuana, snorting cocaine, and drinking with no self-control <laughs> until very early in the morning. How good of a fucking autobiography title is that? What? Smoking marijuana? Smoking marijuana, sm snorting cocaine, and drinking with no self-control. The Richard Lewis yeah. story. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. But I mean, again, like, I just I I, th I thought we could spruce this up, and make it sound a bit more professional. So there he was. He was on the. He was too in gang, <laughs> having beak and getting fucking arsehole. <laughs> How's that, lads? Nailed it. Sound put it out. Get it out. Fucking hell, mate. He upset people at the event, causing altercations. And reports of damaged peripherals owned by the mate were they broke or weren't they? Did I think he... I think I remember this story. I think uh, someone poured like a, a beer over a keyboard, and everyone yeah. said it was him, and he was denying it. So maybe it just was him. <laughs> maybe that's what the story is. Yeah, I think I think I think he's had a full. He's gone gone nuts, like. So, uh, but yeah. Anyway, back to the back to the fucking nightmare of uh, of Vatic. Uh, so yeah, Kin found and as well that line, Kin found himself smoking. Man, like, he's just walking along, and a, and a joint just what oh, what oh, fucking hell? What's this, mate? What what am I doing? I'm out of control. He's mad. Yeah, you know, he just fucking didn't find himself doing it. He fucking just did it, didn't he? The following morning, he would require several energy drinks <laughs> and a pick up. Illegal. Do you know what I mean? We've all been there, mate, the next day. So a Red Bull and a bump, basically. Yeah. yeah. Shake <laughs> like a shitting dog. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Fucking hell. Get his fucking Red Bull and a fucking key, man. <laughs> so. Unreal, isn't it? So, yeah, uh, it, the following morning, he would require several energy drinks and a pick-me-up of some illegal substances to the effect that he would spend his time at the computer sweating and shaking. <laughs> and it, it, <laughs> and an irritable temperament making some of his team players highly uncomfortable as a result his performance during the games was inconsistent and underwhelming this behavior continued throughout the event why hasn't someone stopped him why hasn't someone just said can you stop doing beak in this <laughs> tournament mate? you can't handle your beak stop beaking yeah, yeah can, exactly just stop beaking Mate, can we just can we just beak at the end? <laughs> can we just all have beak at the end? But can you beak while you play? Minimum, yeah. not yeah. before the game. <laughs> yeah, <I think. laughs> this behaviour continued throughout the event. So this is not a kick in the balls for Kin. It's a kick in the balls to the people who played with him, trusted him to behave like a normal human being with a passion <laughs> for gaming, such as the other competitors were able to do so at Epic. In reply to comments on the original post, he was not kicked for having a social life. <laughs> He's definitely got a fucking social life. <laughs> He's living it. Yeah, mate, <laughs> it's fucking, that's too social, isn't it? He's too <laughs> social, mate. We are not targeting him. I'm simply explaining what was a largely contributing factor to the subsequent events of his departure. Vatic wants to... Home a team? I think hone. That should be. Hone a team. Unless there's something on my monitor. No, no it's home. Yeah. yeah. Hone a team who are talented and intent on becoming a strong force within the UK. We will, with our own time and money, provide as much as we possibly can for said team, including land tickets, accommodation, and beak. No, and more. <laughs> <laughs> and We're, <geez>. off <laughs> We're offering this because we want to help. 
the UK scene. And again, I hate that. I hate this idea that like, okay, we all know the UK scene is broken. We all know it's fucked. You, you're, you're the one who's going to fix it, are you? You with your fucking 9,000 fake Twitter followers. Like you, that, you're the guy, are you? They always say it. They always say, hey, we fund our orgs by ourselves to help the UK scene. You're not helping the UK scene, mate. You're just, it's just pouring money down the toilet. That's all you're doing. Do yourself they're a They're not even doing that. That's the worst part. They're not even pouring money away. Yeah. You'd be lucky if you get a hotel room. That's the thing. Everyone was saying, oh, good for you, mate. You. They didn't even pay their land. <laughs> they paid their own land. Mm. They just had the jerseys on. So, literally couldn't believe that. And then, hang on, let me just find the other one. Because did he, he just owned up to it all. Yeah. He just said, like, yeah. I went down the slander route, personally, me, mate. But yeah. Let's go but he jump just, straight up. Now... Look, I'm sympathetic. Like, if you've got drug problems, get them looked into, right? And I've known addicts. I've been around drugs. So don't think I'm being flippant. Um, definitely get that looked into, mate. Uh, but, I mean, again, like just the way this is playing out in public, don't make these statements. It is the internet. It's here forever now. It's not going to go anywhere every time. Even if you get yourself sorted out and you go for, I don't know, could even be a real job interview, not just an interview for a shit UK team. And you're going to be like, well, everything appears to be in order here, mate. And, uh, oh, it turns out you were beaking uncontrollably at uh, Epic 18. <laughs> it's thinking with no self-control. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you know? Because it's all over Facebook, you fucking idiots. So, uh, anyway, he said here, like, it, well, I, he said, I was with mates outside and I had a few tokes of a spliff and went to sleep. No, oh, you've missed a crack in line before, mate. Oh, I was not up the night before dr uh, games, drinking, sniffing and smoking uncontrollably. <laughs> like, no one said you were drinking uncontrollably. So he does tell a bit of a different story, like, there. Does say, you know, I had a few talks of a spliff and went to sleep. Probably not what happened. Didn't. Ah. Right. and then he does admit the next day my team woke me up three hours early and I don't know why in my retarded state of sleepless mind I took something I've never done that before and people will confirm this is the first time this has happened I don't know why I did it and I regret it so I suppose it, it, again it, it could be could be legit he could have like not been thinking if he's being this honest, whatever else, I have no reason to, to, if he'd lie on the minutiae. Yeah, well, maybe. He's just admit everything else. Maybe, mate. But yeah, couldn't, couldn't believe that fucking story. It just shows what a fucking shit show it is. One time, mate, right, just to let you know, I had a fucking dream that I was in a plane crash, right, and I survived it, but I was the only one who had, and I was in my dream, I was rummaging around the wreckage trying to find food and when i woke up i was on my hands and knees and i was eating a stale popper dom <laughs> from like an indian from like two nights ago that I just was still on a table with my house <laughs> so it can happen it can happen if, if you can wake up eating a stale popper dom thinking you're in a plane wreck you probably could wake up and think oh you know better have the beak oh, what am i doing <laughs> Oh no! This is real life. I'm. This is an ordeal now. Shit! And you just fuck that. You know? Just fuck for the rest of the day. So yeah, just just ridiculous scenes. Uh, and obviously, Ken, mate, get get your shit together. Uh, get sorted. Um, you know, if you have got problems with that, fucking definitely take some steps. But this is just what I mean, though. Like we just can't have nice things in the UK. We just can't have nice things. Everyone is just a bumbling incompetent or just a degenerate or just malicious you know and then like the case of hostile you know what i mean like they want to be this like gangs the gangsterish organization right like you know but basically they're like whereas i don't know a mainstream gaming organization would be something like the fucking triads right or the classic you know cosa nostra these cunts like them idiots you see on fucking you know america's dumbest criminals you know, <laughs> he fucking 
And JD tried to escape, but he got stuck in the window. Yeah, I just like, fuck you. Could have DDoS you. Give him a two pound fifty bucks. I'll DDoS you, mate. Gonna you fucking dickheads. Yeah, it's just unbelievable, man. Unfucking believable. So, I, I think we've covered the UK scene there in depth. For this nice episode, little UK man. scene special. Uh, we are going to, we still haven't done choke gaming. We are going to do that. Up. That's got to happen. If you think any of this is bad, like nothing compares. <laughs> like get Sinead O'Connor out because nothing compares to Chalk, mate. <laughs> nothing compares to it. So have you, have you got any final thoughts, mate? Uh, Harambe, I miss you. We're going to do a video about Harambe. <laughs> so. <laughs> I know, I'm being serious. No, I, 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 I mentioned it to you, I'm sure. So yeah, let's record a video about Harambe, mate. I think it's an important cultural phenomenon. Sure. <laughs> Sound. Yeah, All right, well, there you have it. There's the UK scene. Uh, if any of you have been affected by the horrors of the UK scene, uh, get in touch. Just remember, if you're in the UK scene, when the fun stops, you have to stop being in the UK scene too. And you can go to nhs.co.uk slash UK scene slash terminal slash decline and find advice on how to cope with being a shitter. Till the next time, we will see you. Goodbye. Ciao.